Oh, hi, everybody, and welcome to another Giant Bomb East mailbag. Today, we've got a bunch of stuff. Look at this. Wow, look at that perspective. Look at this. Oh, hold on. Hi. Oh, hi. Hey. Uh, we got some stuff. Yeah, we do. Uh, maybe arguably too much stuff. Well, let's, uh, you can't really see me. Should we dig into it? Yeah, yeah, we should get through this so that my shot can go back to normal. Uh, I have this shot. Ready? Okay. Ciao! Ah, ah, hey. Look at that. Hello. It's like, Hi. you can't even tell. Yeah. Oh, that's not it. That's, that's, <laughs> that's Hitman. Somebody sent us the gift of Hitman! Yeah. Now, all these boxes. Alex, I'll get up and I'll go grab you something. Okay. Ready? That sounds like a plan. Here we go. Oh, stop! Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, this is actually my, this is this is the grand sum of my contribution to this feature is this this pile of stuff right here. What you got? Uh, let's see. Right off the bat, we've got ourselves a a, a holiday card from the good folks at the Hernandez family, whose uh, address I will not show. But uh, we have ourselves beautiful a nice card. Beautiful. Uh, it says, "Dear GBs, thank you for a year of great content. Keep up the awesome work." Okay. There's never been a better time to send Christmas cards, and I agree. Oh, thanks. Thank you for Always that. appreciate it. Uh, moving on, I got this mystery envelope uh, from China. Okay. Wonderful person. Uh, Zhang Ti, uh, I'm going to say Chow. Zhang Ti Chow. Probably butchered that, butchered that. There are three pillowcases in this package. Um... So either I ordered something and I don't remember it, or someone ordered something for me and I don't remember from it. From China? Uh, but let's talk about what we have here. Okay, let's. These, these fine pillow cases, because they're, um... Oh, that is fine. Well, they're really something. Uh, that is fine. Yes. I see you in my dreams. Okay. Alright, so that's our first one. Let's move on to our second pillowcase. There's three of them total. Okay. Uh, Keep the dream alive. This one's not opening as well as the other one did. I'm... I'm so sorry. I've already, I've ruined it. I've no, ruined Christmas. You, you gotta, you gotta use uh, hope. Jeez, that one really is. They don't want this you is, uh, digging in on that one. Sounds like vacuum sealed or something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I found, I found an entry point. There we okay. go. Okay. All right. So here's our second one. I'm sensing a theme with these pillowcases. Yeah, I think they might all uh, be part of that. Wow, uh, Alex. I didn't know he'd gone to space. Yeah, you know. I never knew that happened. And there was a time when he really had some really luxurious hair going on. Wow. Fantastic. That, these are these are amazing. That these are made is amazing. That these were made and sold, I'm assuming, or if these are customs, then thank you so much for the work. I can't you wait to see this. this next one. This is our last one here. Ooh. What's it say? Despite all my rage, I am still just Nicolas Cage. Hell yeah, you are. These are great, thank you. Can't wait to drool on those, huh? Uh, yeah, or, you know, I, maybe I'll put them- They up. look like they're for big pillows. They do. I wonder like if body they might pillows. be good, like, like, couch cushion type things. Or like on- yes. Yes, you'd want that on your but couch. But I want those, and I'm gonna keep those. Uh, and in keeping with the long-standing tradition here, we have another package. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna open up here. It's, uh, it seems like there might be some games in, in this one. I can't- Hopefully it's something certain. super fun. Yeah, I wonder if it's a really good game, maybe, or two copies of the same really good game. Is, is this, that possible? Is this one of those, like, no return address? No, there's a return address, okay. which I won't show here, but, okay. uh... This one comes in, uh, from... Comes in hot, let's just say. Alex DuPont. Okay. Uh, possibly Alan DuPont. Okay. Let's say Alan DuPont. We'll never know. Uh, from... Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Oh, gee, what do we have here? <laughs> oh, it's the greatest game ever made! I would like to point out that these came before the ones that came uh, to the San Francisco <laughs> office. They've just been sitting on my desk for a while. We'll have to add them to the stack at some yes, point. Yes, to the wall that we are building with Mass Effect 2. Uh, thank you for that. Please stop. No. I, get, no, the, I, I love the joke. Never. It was a great bit. Don't stop. Now's the time to stop. That's don't, what I'm saying. Don't, don't stop. Please. Please stop. Thank don't, you. don't stop. All right. Shout. 2017's please stop of the year. Stop sending Alex Mass Effect 2. Well, let's go grab another box. I'll All go right. grab. Yeah, this the, now we're getting into into your stuff here. Let's see what you got. You can almost see my whole head. We're halfway there. There I am. Here, you, you open All right. Up. Well, cuz first there's a note on top from Uh there's a note from a gift we got, but yes. maybe did, didn't 
Yes, this one was one that also came Just to me. didn't quite make it. Uh, this one says, hey guys, enclosed are three Carolina Reaper peppers. The Carolina Reaper is currently the world record holder for the hottest pepper. Pepper is grown in beautiful downtown Fort Mill, South Carolina, at the Pucker Butt Pepper Company, which yeah. is a really good name. Yeah. Uh, don't mind the prescription bottles. I pack them in for safety. I wash them out. At worst, you'll have a little antidepressant with your pepper. I'm a longtime fan. I appreciate all that you do. Keep it up. This is from Jeff. Jeff, I have some bad news for you, I'm afraid to say. What's up? When the peppers came, uh-huh. uh, I didn't open them right away. Uh-huh. And then when I did, there was mold on them. Moldy peppers. So I think when you washed out the bottles, <laughs> there might have been some leftover moisture in there, and that's how... And now we have penicillin. And now peppers. we had penicillin. So... Thank you for the thought. I don't know when I would have eaten those, but I would have tried to find a way. Um, Did you know uh, when I was in San Francisco, Brad and I went to go eat at some hamburger place, and I had to sign a release to eat the world's hottest hamburger. How did that go for you? It was pretty hot. It was okay. Did it puck out of your butthole? Mm, I sweat a little bit. Okay. but From the butthole? Yeah. All right. It's anal sweating. Yeah, it happens. Okay. What do we got there, Vinny? It says, this one comes in from Dennis. Uh, Dennis sent us in a while ago on the heels of possibly uh, another box or maybe coincidentally. Hope you like the contents of the box. I've been collecting Japanese die-cast robots for almost 15 years, and I've recently decided to purge my collection. The last mailbag, uh, yeah, that we did, made me realize that you should inherit a few of my pieces. I'm more than happy to donate them. First is the Takara MP03 Starscream. This came out near the beginning of the Masterpiece line, and they decided, here, I'll switch to the tight shot here. Uh, they decided to get, ooh, Shoji Kawamori of Macross fame, of Macross saga, to design him, and this is why the color scheme is a bit more realistic. I personally think he did a great job hiding the robot kibble. They're quite nice. In plain mode. Yes. They're the back of the box. He's beautiful. Okay, the second piece. Is Gundam Fix Figuration Metal Build number 1001 RX78-2 version KA. I figured as a UC Gundam fan, you would appreciate this a lot. I do. It's 1 100th scale, so same as Masterpiece Gunpla kits, since it's version KA. It was redesigned by Katoki Hajime. Hajime. To tie this into video games a bit, he did all the designs for Virtual On. That's cool. Word of caution. Caution. The plastics are a bit crumbly. It should be fine as long as you don't force anything. The endoskeleton is all metal, so the joints are fine. Pose away. That is a beautiful piece of kit. It's 1004, by the way. So. 1004. Yeah. 10, not okay. 1001. Good to know. Uh, Dennis, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate it. And I'll say, since we got that first box of Masterpiece stuff... I may I may have indulged myself a bit oh, in yeah? my masterpiece collection, so I'm good. Did you do something bad? Real bad. Real bad. I've started my own collection at home. It's uh, troubling. I'm about four deep, four or five deep. Uh, but thanks everybody who sent them in, and thanks again, um, Dennis. Uh, that star scream is pretty awesome. They have a different star scream that's painted. It's a like, cool looking star scream. It's like just a jet star scream, a yeah. MIG star scream. Um, but I think I'm going I'm also gonna get the one that's painted like the cartoon. Should we go to the big box? Let's go to the big box. We got one more box for you, folks. Stay tuned as Vinny acquires the box. This is the big box. Oh, boy. Ooh. Is there a note with this one? Yeah. You can you can pick through this because I I've I've done all the hand modeling up to this point. Uh, this comes from Jamie, Captain Invictus on the site. Dear Vinny and Alex, enclosed are a variety of things for Vinny. I messaged Alex on the site asking what sorts of things he might be interested in, but he never replied. I'm Shame sorry. on you. I'm really bad at checking PMs on I'm the site. I'm really bad at checking PMs on the site, too. My bad. I spoke to Vinny about Transformers at PAX East earlier this year, and I have a spare Takasa Tony knockoff wheeljack for him. It's indistinguishable from the real thing. There's our 
There's our wheel jack right there. Uh, we also spoke about a, a perfect grade Charles Zaku that I got from Amazon.com liquidation of all Gundam merch in the early aughts for 20 bucks that I felt a Gundam fan like him should have since I never wound up building it. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in here. We might not get to every single thing as I'm reading them off. Okay. I'll just hold up stuff. Yeah, just start holding things up. Uh, Vinny had mentioned when we spoke that his favorite Transformer is Shockwave, and while I don't have a spare Masterpiece Shockwave for you, we're good. Thank you. Uh, I included a Rad Legends I, I, Shockwave. I bought one. Yeah, yeah I knew you would. Uh, I, was, I, I also bought the real wheel jack. <laughs> I've included a Rad Legends Shockwave that is basically impossible to find nowadays, uh, but got a bunch on clearance. Also included is a Got T shirt. Since I know you like black t-shirts, let's show well, that Why one. don't you hold that one up? Yeah, this is, a, this is not a bad shirt. This is pretty, this is pretty good. I just want to show this off to the, uh, to the folks here. This Yes. A masterpiece in its own right. Indeed. A variety of other Transformers, both boxed and loose, for Vinny and his kids. And don't worry, nothing I paid too much for, uh, like you said. Good, yes. And you're not allowed to send things here that are, are crazy expensive. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. He says he got most of them during major clearances, uh, but felt your kids might enjoy them more, particularly that honking big Optimus Prime there. Which I, which I took out already. Uh, Alright, quick story. My kid, Max, is way into Transformers, is all he wants. A, a child after your own heart. Spoilers, he's getting a lot of Transformers, some robots in disguise stuff for Christmas and Hanukkah. Nice. I had to explain what Soundwave transformed into, and I sounded like an idiot. Soundwave transforms into a cassette player. Try to explain what a cassette is to a five-year-old. That's a really good point. He's like, it's a camera. Like, it's it's not a camera. It's not a camera. Because I imagine if he is listening to music at this point, it's purely digital, right? Yeah. Yes. So he doesn't understand the concept of music as physical media in general, not I, just cassette tapes. I was like, well, they, they put music on him and you put him in the cassette player and it plays music. He's like, like the round things? No. And well, I like the round things. But I'm not but even sure which round thing you're talking about. The CDs? He or, probably meant CDs. Or the records. It's difficult. Uh, in addition, there are some Legos too, including a Lego board game that I hear is real good. I hope you enjoy. No need to keep them in the office since I know it's getting crowded in there. Uh, I have always appreciated everything you guys do since you started at the site, both for entertainment and for distracting from the horrible shit going on in the world, and I hope Giant Bomb continues on well into the future and gets a better office. <laughs> Looking forward to the DBZ fusion of Vinny and Dan in the new year. Van or Dinny. So there you go. That's a, that's a book. It's a book. It's a damn book. That's what that is. It's a Dan Abnett book. Uh, wow. There's just a lot of stuff in here. There's... Okay. I... Okay, right, that's like... This might be... So that's Dota stuff. Donkey Courier. I'm gonna have to mail this to Bradley. I, is this inflatable? It kind of looks like it is. There's another one. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of inflatable thing. Okay. So. We'll put these over here. Inflatable in the, MOBAs. In the Dota pile. This is the future. Uh, here's that board game. Here's a helicopter. Alex has a helicopter in his hands. I do. Check out this helicopter. The the blades have gone limp, but nonetheless. You can fix oh, that with pills. Look at that. Wee. Uh, here's this here's this board game. And uh, I'm going to try and get this big box out of here. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, check out that Zaku. Got some, uh, some Lego Hero Factory here. Uh... Tiny Optimus. More of that Hero Factory business. Uh, here's, uh, Starscream. Oh, yeah. Got a few more little Lucy's here. Oh, oh. For a second there, I thought that it said Clenching Thunder Colon. I thought that would have been amazing, but that's not what it says. Uh, we have ourselves a... A little Beast Hunter? A little Beast Hunter. Here's that Shockwave I think we were talking about. Yep. Here's a Hot Shot. Nope. Okay. That's a Hot Shot. Man, 
Uh, that's an air airplane. Yes. What, what goes in the sky? <laughs> um, we have this Lego Technic. Yes. This, and then we have this plastic bag of stuff. Yes. And Stocking that's, stuffers. That's our... Alex. I feel like I just went on like a Nickelodeon toy run. So, so totally. Like my dreams are all coming true. Yeah. Max is gonna have his mind blown. Like literally explode. I don't I'm not sure what exactly Why couldn't my dad do cool shit when I was growing up? Why did he have to just be like a, a weird cool computer nerd? <laughs> I think that's what we are, Alex. I think we're kind of weird. Computer like you nerds. had to go work on some fucking particle accelerator and you couldn't get me cool toys through work. Like fuck you. I think maybe fuck he just you, had dad. the wrong toys. If he came home and he's like, check out what somebody sent me. It's a proton cannon. I hate you, Dad. No, you don't. Thanks, J <laughs> thanks, Jamie. Um, boy, I got to get some of this stuff home. I was trying to think how I give this stuff to Max. Like, uh, is this like a, I wrap it up and say Santa brought it? No, I think you meet this out over the next fifteen years of birthdays and Christmases. Like you're set. You've done all your holiday shopping for for the rest of his life, at least his child life. I think he's gonna really enjoy all of this. Right, so you give him How about one the Lucy's I'll put in, like, his stocking? Yeah, I think that's the place for those, for sure. And then, like, Dad can play with the other ones. Yes. He, I like that plan. He does really like Wheeljack. I, I'm like curious helicopters? To, this is a cool helicopter. That is a cool helicopter. Uh, Takasa, Tony, nice. The um, fun part about these masterpiece things, mm -hmm. you probably see me do it. Sometimes I just transform them when I'm rendering something out. I just sit there at the desk. And I'll play go, with them. Play with them. Sometimes when I'm on a conference call, I'll just transform them. How are we adults? We're not. Yeah, we're really not. We're not. That's but you secret. know what? What? This is so much better. This is, this is so much it's better. It's way cool. It's way cooler. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I, I think I'm pretty good on Transformers. For now. For like right now, this like minute. you'll put the call out again if there's a time when more transformers are needed. I get like I said, I get really uncomfortable when people send expensive stuff, uh, and even if it is for my kids, yeah. Uh, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta purge stuff, and, and we, feel, we're you know a good what? receptacle, and it feels good to give. Yes. So I, I don't want to harsh on anybody who's feeling good giving, uh, like all of the people who just donated a bunch of stuff to us. Sincerely, but, thank you to everyone. Yeah, absolutely, thank you. That's going to be our final mailbag uh, for the year. Yes. Uh, for calendar 2016. I don't know if Dan's into Transformers. He's into, like, Amiibo. Maybe if they were wrestling figures. Like, if they were wrestling Transformers. We got one, right? We got, we got that one. Yeah. That dude just falling on his head. Yeah. Right. Shockmaster. All right, Alex. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye, everybody. Have Thank a nice holiday. Thanks, everybody, for doing and sending stuff in and being awesome and uh, continue to be awesome in 2017. We'll be back next year. True. I can fade it out from here. Do it. They're not going to let me walk out of here with that giant Zaku thing. Now you're going to have to sign for that. <laughs> I better call security. All right, bye.